this is Paul. Yes. <laughs> I'm just looking at the, the definition of a true threat. Yeah. A true threat is a crime. The defendant must intentionally and knowingly uh -huh, communicate a threat. <laughs> that is a clear or present determination or intent to injure someone presently or in the future. <laughs> Secondly, the speaker must make the threat under uh, circumstances that would cause a reasonable person to believe that he is uh, serious about executing the threat. Yes, a reasonable person. <laughs> now, let me give you an example. Coach, I was arrested on January 4th of 2016 because of the allegations that there was a true threat. Yes. Mm -hmm to harm or injure the petitioner that did not sign the protection order. Yes. And quite possibly did not initiate the actual court proceedings that uh, ordered the order for protection. Yes. Now, I happen to be in Port Angeles, Washington at 7.47 a.m. Oh, the video camera surveillance on the bus would have proved that I wasn't in Squim, Washington. Yes, and I was at the Port Angeles Public Library on December 31st of 2015, <laughs> sending an email to law enforcement. Now, I went through numerous court hearings where I informed the judge... <laughs> that I was not given personal service or service by publication. <laughs> the judge said, well, I don't know if I have jurisdiction to remove it. Oh, <laughs> now that was two years ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. Since that time, I've emailed about a million emails documenting crime. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, when I got the traffic citation of the two-count criminal complaint, it doesn't really say what happened. Now, how can you violate a protection order Yes, where there's no signature of the petitioner? Right. There was no due process to the respondent. Yes. Without documenting what the true threat was. Well, I think you'd have to have some sort of documentation about what was actually said. <laughs> now, the victim, Pooch, did not file a police report documenting the words that were used as the reason for the jailing of myself. Yes. When I wasn't in that city. But law enforcement wouldn't allow for the admission of the evidence that I wasn't in that city. Now, this is how this fucks up a person's life. <laughs> Let's say you're in penitentiary right now. And you may or may not have had some sort of words with a woman. And you said, well, I'm going to just beat the fucking shit out of you for being such a bitch. But a reasonable person would have said, well, it happens in marriage that sometimes you have arguments. Isn't that right, you cunt? <laughs> but the police state of the United States decides to arrest me. Yes, <laughs> and then will not acknowledge that the protection order itself was not issued because the petitioner wanted it. It's because the county court commissioner decided to issue it under the duress of the court officer and the fraudulent use of state court seals. Now, I'm sitting here on the street on trial in Jefferson fucking county, and for some stupid fucking reason, nobody understands.